The bid for Parkway may be a bold one, but how will the Singh brothers pay for this? And at 2.3 billion US dollars, will they be paying too much? Bianca Ghosh tries to analyze if the numbers add up. And the healthcare industry is not always the most the most viable investment across many sectors that one would probably make, but the country needs it. It's a need of the nation, it does make business sense, but it needs to be done in a manner which is economically viable. So does 3.8 Singaporean dollar a share that values Parkway at 3.2 billion Singapore dollars make economic sense? Analysts believe at 27 times 2010 earnings, it's a tad too expensive. We believe that Parkway Holdings is, uh, is an expensive stock even at 3.8 um, and it, it really doesn't make um, economic sense in the near term uh, to pay for uh, pay anything higher than uh, 3.8. The fact that Fortis is nimble and not over leveraged is good and perhaps uh, the reason that this offer is not at a huge premium to Khazana's offer is because Fortis knows that it will have to spend a lot more money once the bid prices go up. What is a good long-term bet though is that once Fortis is folded into the Parkway umbrella, the synergies of scale and platform from collapsing the two entities into one will be significant. Funding for this $3.8 a share offer will be through a mix of equity and debt, through RHC Healthcare, the private investment arm of Mulvinder and Shivinder Singh. The exact metrics of the debt equity ratio is not clear yet, but the promoters will pool in money in their personal capacity from their own kitty. Clearly, expensive or not, the Singh brothers believe the synergies being unlocked in the joint capabilities will create a huge long-term growth opportunity. In New Delhi, Bianca Ghosh, NDTV.